Hi, uh, not been on here for a while, um, but anyway, we're going to solder a new battery connector into an iPod Classic 5th Gen. This will also do for um, a 6th and 7th Gen. As you can see, I've removed the board, and anybody that knows about the iPod Classic will know what the connector looks like. And here's one here, and I managed to get three of these from eBay. I think they cost me about £3 a piece, something in that region. Um, and as you can see, the two trays are still attached to that. Anyway, uh, just tell you briefly about soldering, the importance of having a clean tip on your solder iron, um, and obviously the clean pads as well. Because uh, if you're trying to solder up to dirty pads or you've got a dirty tip on your iron, forget this. You'll not do a good job. You'll end up with blobby work and possibly end up damaging the board. Uh, so clean your tip. Always make sure that tip is clean. Heat uh, soldering at roughly about 380 degrees. Um, using a fairly wide tip on this one, which I can do simply because... I'm using liquid solder. That's wonderful stuff. Uh, it is quite expensive, about uh, £25 for, oh, I don't know how many mils are in this uh, tube, but basically I've had it for ages and you don't need much of it. Um, the good thing about it is solder balls held in, suspe in, in suspension of flux. So good thing is I do not have to hold uh, a piece of wire um, you know, so I can hold the component and all I need to do is just solder. Um, really, really good stuff. So if you're doing a lot of soldering um, to this sort of um, uh, level, you know, small components, well worth investing in a tube of liquid solder. Uh, I hate hot air. I can't stand it, which a lot of people use. Anyway, um, I've already soldered this down because I forgot to switch my camera on. Anyway, just showing you what I did, just hitting this again. Um, anyway, if you need any uh, soldering doing or, or anything like that, please email or, or call me. Uh, and please subscribe to me. Anyway, have fun.